Hey Flotons Nerds, I hope all is well. Welcome to my first impressions video of the Bubble Up Pure Arrow 98. It's the update to the Pure Arrow VS as is used by Carlos Alcaraz and Holger Rune. So this is a very popular model and quite hyped up now that these two young guns are blasting through ATP Pros with the Pure Arrow VS. Uh, they have them probably slightly customized to their different specs. And it looks very much like the Pure Arrow 100. It actually looks like a baby brother or... Uh, yeah, it's pretty much very, very similar in design with this kind of street-inspired design, as you can see here. And they do play very similarly as well, except obviously for that the 98 will give you better control, unchanged specs, 305 grams, 98 square inches, 31.5 centimeter balance, 1620 pattern, Still a very spin-friendly racket. I would say it's, it's a very spinny frame for the head size. And they recommend it to string it from 50 to 57. I think Alcaraz uses 55 in the mains and 51 in the crosses to promote more string movement, get even more spin. Uh, I still feel like for most players, 55 pounds is a bit much. It's a little bit much for the arm. I strung mine with Solinko Hyper G Soft, one of my favorite strings. I want to try rackets with strings I know and I'm familiar with and that I've used in the previous generation. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to compare. And I strung it at 51 pounds, which is kind of my reference tension. I think most rackets handle pretty well in that tension. And then I can obviously go up or down depending on how that feels in terms of control and comfort. It has a 1620 string pattern, so gives you a little bit more control on flatter shots especially you have a little bit more confidence in the string bed it is denser which allows for less string movement but it's still plenty spin friendly this is a racket for you who like to generate lots of racket head speeds hit the ball like Alcaraz kind of really blast it and get some control from your rpms your your spin and that's the way you control the ball because the, this racket is powerful for a 98 it's quite a modern 98 in the way it generates power and spin. As I said with the Pure Arrow VS, I can see the appeal. You feel like you have a monster forehand with this racket. For some reason, it doesn't work quite as well on my one-handed backhand. It's maybe the aerodynamic beam. It's maybe that my backhand is not the best. But I do feel more natural with other rackets on my one-hander. But it could be that any one-handers out there that feel great when hitting with the Pure Arrows or Arrow VSs, let me know in the comments, but I, I do struggle sometimes with the, the arrows, especially. It could be a grip thing as well, but I just feel like the beam wants the racket to travel more vertically, which is more of the spin way to hit the ball, and not so well flat through the ball, which is how I hit the backhand. So that could be it. But overall, uh, what is new in this one? It's not a huge update. Most racket updates these days are pretty s similar to the predecessor. Yonex usually take it a little bit further with some mold updates. As far as I've seen, this is not a mold update, but it has a little bit of a softer feel. And I haven't seen the specifications from Babla. As I said, this is my first impression, so I might need to update this when I have more details. But they gave me green light to uh, to upload my review. I asked Babla Sweden for that. How did I get this copy? I got it from Tennis Warehouse Europe. They are nice to send me demos and early releases so I can create some good reviews for you out there and so so big thanks to them check them out the link is in the description i get a small commission if you buy anything from tennis warehouse europe tennis warehouse and tennis only so the pure Arrow vs it has flax inserts that means that there's something in the layup what is inside the racket that actually offers a softer feel and i do feel that when playing with this racket uh, i feel like it's a little bit friendlier on the arm the other one is quite firm it, don't get me wrong this is still a relatively firm racket players with tennis elbow a history of that i think they might find it to be a little bit too stiff as with most modern rackets uh, but it's um, it's softer than the predecessor so if you like that racket like my buddy matthew who plays with that but sometimes feels a little bit firm for his taste i think he'll really like this one could it because it is softer similar to the journey of the pure arrow 100 that made uh, that became softer i haven't noticed any changes in string pattern i don't find that i get much more control maybe a tad better control with this one but overall it's a very similar response just a tad softer a little bit nicer uh, on impact uh, feels like it handles off center shots a bit better 
so this is a, a great frame. Uh, there's a reason it's used by, by two of the most exciting young players out there. And it's because it hits bombs on the ground stroke. So the forehand feels great with this racket. As I said, I can't feel as connected to it on the backhand. Can be me. Uh, but if you have a double hander, I think you're fine. It's just on the one hander that I feel like the arrow beam is making it a little bit more complex to swing. Slice feels fine. I mean, doesn't knife the ball as well as some uh, old head prestigious or pro staffs. But it, it does create a nice slice for what it is. So you can play pretty much any shot. Uh, I think it, it handles serves well. It doesn't have you the biggest pop. I get more power on the serve with the arrow 100. But you can get some pop. And you can definitely hit some good kick serves with this one. It feels like it, it really wants to travel rapidly through the air. It's one of those rackets where you feel like it really promotes rapid swing speeds. Like Alcaraz, you know, that's his style of racket. You need to swing it fast. And I think it also something that is said by Babala in the marketing that it's a fast swinging frame. It's for players with, with high swing speeds. So if you're a player with a slower swing speed, maybe prefer old school rackets, heavier rackets, or want more forgiveness, this is not the frame for you. This is for players who like to whip and hit hard from the back of the court. Volleys decently. It's not the best feeling volley racket ever. And uh, there are some other frames that handle that category of shot better. But it does a good job. It feels great on drop shots. Hit a kick serve, heavy forehand, and then finish with a drop shot. That's where you have this arrow VS. And it does all those things very, very well. So, uh, solid update. And nothing huge. But but as expected, a little bit softer. And just a good update to what was already a good racket. The arrow VS. If you're curious about other new updates, join my Patreon. Where I will have first impressions of the new V-Course radicals and so on coming up i also had a first impressions video of this one before i created this one so uh, for unique content before everyone else you check out patreon it also supports the channel so thank you very much if you're lost in the jungle of tennis rackets check out my online course the road to the right racket i also have a consultation service you go to tennisnerd.net slash help and you will find resources to help you find your racket get answers to questions and as i said before if you join patreon you can message me directly with your question so big thanks to all of you on patreon already that's all for now have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis